In keeping up with what has become his favorite subject, every time he's meeting with the judicial officers, President Yoweri Museveni has lashed out at officials who issue injunctions that stall major projects. Speaking to hundreds of judges at the official opening of their 22nd annual conference, the president told them of a judge who issued an injunction in a commercial dispute that stopped the construction of a multi-billion factory. I heard that a court had stopped the man who had put $630 million on the ground. Wow. It's really not... Uh, why stop? Why? If these people are quarreling of, uh, about who, who, they can solve that. Why do you stop this? So the, the Chinese man was almost committing suicide. You cannot be serious. You cannot be serious. There's no way you can say that you are serious, that you, you are a judge or what. I, I may not be so, so clever, but certainly I can see that you are not serious. What are you looking for? So, I'm sorry if I have interfered with some judges, I, I may be able to... <laughs> But at least I will die when I have spoken up. <laughs> the president asked the judges to give priority to murder and commercial dispute cases and appeared to make it a precondition for any staffing demands. Although we still have other sectors which are understaffed, but the judiciary is unique. If it, if it could be properly aligned on the historical mission, I would have no problem at all, and I have never had any problem. The Chief Justice, Bad Katurebe, who spoke broadly about the court's performance, blamed the case backlog on understaffing in the courts. So the, the judges with the current load would need six years to dispose of what is before them. That gives you an idea of the magnitude we have, Your Excellency. With High Court leading on case backlog, Katurebe wants the mandate of the lower courts expanded to handle some of the pending cases. The Honourable Minister of Justice should start considering proposals to increase the jurisdiction of chief magistrates and grade one magistrates so that we reduce on the workload of the high court and provide speedier justice to the people since accessing magistrates courts is easier and cheaper than accessing the high court. It remains to be seen if the dominance of the conversation on case backlog in this conference and the president's decision to link his requests to the judicial officer's demands will spur the desired changes. Edward Mhumza, NTV Tonight.